Hello, my name is Evgeny Shapira. I'm Senior Product Manager in Fluids at Realis. And today I'd like to talk to you about what's new in our first release of 2023, 2023.1 in 1D Fluids products, Wave and Wave RT. Our 1D Fluids products provide full engine digital twin capability for design, optimization, virtual calibration, diagnostics, and increasingly, maintenance of your engines. The aim of Realis 1D Fluids offering is to be a predictive engine plant model of choice, helping you develop engines for the world's future needs. This is enabled by our state-of-the-art, faster than real-time predictive simulations capability, our complex fuels modeling tool chain, and the best-in-class acoustic predictions. The design and development of these features and capabilities is informed by the engineering expertise of our business embedded in software workflows. Finally, one the fluids products are seamlessly integrated in the wider Realis suite, spanning systems, 3D fluids, structures and mechanical design, providing multi-component solutions for complex engineering challenges. The 2023.1 release is packed with great features and functionality, user experience enhancements, and workflow enablers. The theme which inspired this release for our 1D Fluids products is precision engineering. The accuracy demands on digital twins are growing with the increased drive towards virtual product development, and this is inspired both by the desire to optimize powertrains even further, that is, improve performance while reducing emissions, but also by the cost pressures, which lead to reduction in hardware testing. In this release, the accuracy of our faster-than-real-time Wave RT product is enhanced by introducing detailed fuel modeling for single and dual fuel operation. The new material definition process enables precise specification of fuel properties and includes the new database of substance properties and the new FMU expert facilitates optimization and creation of more accurate models. Let's have a look at the first in the features list, the dual fuel support in Wave RT. This new functionality addresses the challenge of development of engine digital twins running e-fuels and fuel blends, such as mixtures of different gasolines and ethanol or hydrogen and ammonia, for example. Continuing the strategy of providing solutions accelerating net zero transformation. To answer this challenge, our faster than real time solver was enhanced to support dual fuel simulations. The access to this feature is fully automated. The users don't need to do any specific configuration when exporting a dual fuel solution to real time. And in the example provided in the installation, we demonstrate setup and effects of gasoline ethanol dynamic blending. In the video, uh, we're showing effects of the dynamic change of ethanol content in an engine running initially on gasoline. For illustration, the injected mass is kept the same. The example has boost control, but no other control systems. The plots show ethanol fraction, current pressure, maximum pressure, and the angle of peak pressure. As the ethanol fraction increases, the equivalence ratio decreases, leading to a decrease in peak pressure and the delay of combustion peak. As we can see, the real-time digital twin follows very closely the full dawn model and captures accurately the effects of the fuel composition change and the transient behavior. The example runs fully predictive as a combustion model available in both WAVE and WAVE RT. Continuing the same theme, this release will further improve the fidelity of our faster than real time digital twin solver in order to address the need for detailed representation of fuel properties for e fuels and non carbon fuels such as hydrogen and ammonia. The fuel properties of ex exported RT model now are tabulated based on the detailed representation of the donor model. The access to this feature is fully automated. There is no additional configuration which the users need to do to take advantage of the detailed fuel properties. And in the installation, there is a new example for real-time hydrogen modeling, illustrating application to green non-carbon fuels. 
The video shows an example of a hydrogen engine undergoing dynamic change in fueling from rich conditions to lean conditions. The plots show hydrogen equivalence ratio, current pressure, maximum pressure, and the position of the pressure peak. The example has boost control as the previous one, but no other control systems. The injected mass is kept constant. The example runs predictive SI combustion, both in wave and wave RT. As the equivalence ratio changes from rich to lean, the maximum pressure decreases and the combustion is delayed. Beyond certain limit in equivalence ratio, the peak of pressure corresponds to TDC and the angle of the pressure peak becomes zero. The real-time digital twin follows very closely the full donor model, capturing accurately the effects of the fuel composition change and the transient behavior. Now, in addition to the detailed properties in the release, it also features more accurate treatment of rich combustion products. As a consequence of detailed fuel properties, also we can export humidity both from directly from the fuel file, from the fuel specification on the oxidizer side, and dynamically for runtime modification of humidity. Using complex fuels in uh, Wave RT requires, in the first place, access to the properties of complex fuels. Having correct materials data at your fingertips can save time in simulation setup and provide easy access to validated properties for hydrocarbons and complex fuels. And to address this challenge in this release, Wave and Wave RT gain access to the material database uh, of Realis simulation and the new RTZF reactor solution for fuel processing. Access to this feature is provided by the material database plugin available in the installation and a new solution in our desk. There is also an enhanced set of examples for single and dual fuel engines and a new how-to for material processing available in the installation. Let us have a look at an example of uh, generation of fuel material uh, for uh, complex simulation setup. In this example, uh, we have a twin turbo racing engine where we want to configure instead of indoline injection, a mixture of gasoline and uh, water with addition of ethanol to water to prevent freezing. So our starting point is the indoline configuration and in our installation, we have material editor, which allows access to a number of databases for materials. RS Fluids database contains properties for water, ethanol, and a number of gasolines. And here we will pick up a high octane TRF gasoline with 30% of aromatics. Now, where the energy is def reactor solution, specify the gasoline, water, ethanol name for the fuel file. Switch to multi fuel configuration and set the labels for the fuels so that we can easily recognize them uh, gasoline and water ethanol. And then specify the composition of each fuel stream. So, for gasoline, we pick up from the RS Fluids database, which is available automatically the gasoline material of choice for gas phase and the same material for the liquid phase. In general, materials for gas phase and liquid phase can be set as different, providing good flexibility. And for water ethanol, we pick up water vapor and water liquid from the material database. <laughs> Finally, we add ethanol gas phase and ethanol liquid phase. And specify the blending. In this case, we're using, for example, 10% of ethanol addition to water. The reactor solution has been configured. We can run it to generate the corresponding fuel file. The generation is quite quick, even for multiple fuels. And once the fuel file has been generated, we can switch our model to use this fuel file instead of indolene. The panel shows 
a brief summary of the fuels available in the fuel file. And now we can use the corresponding materials in our simulation. Now, the database which we are uh, providing with the installation RS fluids contains a wide range of hydrocarbons and uh, complex surrogates. Users can also create their own materials using material editor and uh, copy and modify properties of the materials supplied. In addition to that, in uh, our current release, we are providing a new tool to WAVE users, allowing them to import material databases from industry standard Cantera format, which is widely used to describe chemical reacting mixture. Continuing with the theme of precision engineering, our next enhancement of this release brings a new FMU expert in WAVE. The challenge we're trying to address here is the need to quickly optimize and tune 1D engine models across complete engine operating space. And the solution is a new enhanced expert task, which allows our users to easily create industry standard functional mock-up units of WAVE and optimize them in our desk tuner. The new task is available in the GUI and that's how we access this feature. And uh, there is a new detailed FMU model tuning tutorial demonstrating the usage of expert of FMUs and calibration of FMUs in our desk tuner. The example which we're using to illustrate this feature is based on a three-cylinder turbocharged gas dimension, which is configured to run 13 cases. When this model is run initially, the results don't match exactly the test data. There's a bit of an error on torque on BSFC, maximum pressure and other quantities. In order to address this, we calibrate the model using FMU Expert and our desk tuner. So FMU Expert solution is added from the tasks list and it provides an easy way to specify all the inputs of the FMU, all the outputs of the FMU, and all the parameters which are exported to FMU. Exporting parameters to FMU is a new feature of 2023.1 release. Once the FMU has been created, we can use it in the FMU tuning task. So FMU tuning task can be added from the tasks list it has a very similar interface to Wave RT, our desk tuner task, and it's simple to set up by setting operating conditions corresponding to each case we are trying to simulate, linking parameters storing data to FMU inputs, setting the tuning parameters. In most usual scenario, these are heat transfer multipliers. And setting the target parameters, in this case, target torque and target airflow, which are measured at FMU outputs, that is sensors which we exported to FMU. Now, it takes longer to run WAVE than WAVE RT, so uh, the tuning typically is done for a reduced set of cases. In this case, for example, three cases picked at different loads and the validation run is done for the full set of cases. The validation run is done with the parameters obtained from the tuning exercise for the reduced set of cases. And once the validation run has finished, we can see that the resulting match to test data has been substantially improved. The new FMU expert task, combined with the power of our desk FMU tuning task, provides support for the complete workflow and helps our users create accurate calibrated wave models quickly. Apart from the key headline features, there is features and a number of other enhancements for wave and wave RT. For WAVE, uh, the most notable part uh, concerns better usability and better behavior of discharge coefficients treatment. For example, 
the blocking of flow using zero discharge coefficient is now possible in wave. It's possible to actuate discharge coefficients in uh, different elements. And it's also possible to apply discharge coefficients for without area change. In this release, we also have added a new feature for Wave FMU, a new flag which allows Wave FMU to remesh components such as intakes, exhausts, and mufflers at the initialization stage of the FMU. This new feature helps prepare for using RDESP tuner for acoustic optimization. The Wave RT enhancements also focus on the actuation of discharge coefficients, but in addition, it's now possible to run multiple Wave RT models in one Simulink model, both in the same Simulink session and different Simulink sessions. And there are there is a number of sensors added to support multi-fuel capability and a new summary sensor for total air to fuel ratio. On the documentation front, there is features 13 new or improved examples and tutorials, which include new FMU tuning tutorial, real-time hydrogen combustion and gasoline ethanol combustion examples, and a number of tutorials which have been updated to make use of the material database and converted to our desk. I hope you have enjoyed this brief introduction to the new features of our first release of 2023. If you have any questions about these features or anything else concerning our 1D Fluid Dynamics tools, please contact us at support at realis-simulation.com. Thank you for your attention.